What is happening, guys? So today, I thought I'd be doing this overview video of this Dell Optiplex 3050. This is in one of the three sizes available with the small form factor size, with micro and mini tower being the other two. But this is the medium sized version. But this is this has a Core i5 6500 inside and is from uh, November 21st, 2017. This is when uh, this particular unit was manufactured. So I guess we'll do a little overview at it, overview of it. You can see we have the hard drive indicator, uh, the CD-ROM drive, two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports with my wireless keyboard and mouse plugged into it. And if we look at the back of it, you can see that the audio port, HDMI and display port, an optional VGA port, Two, uh, two USB 3.0 ports and two more USB 2.0 ports. And I believe this is a gig gigabit Ethernet port. Power supplies are down here. And then over here is a R7454 gigabyte graphics card. You could get this with a computer when you purchase it brand new, but this did not come with it. I just had to buy, I bought it separately on eBay. But yeah, it has two display ports on it. And yeah. So whenever you put in a graphics card, you don't plug it in right here. You just plug it in right here. Otherwise, it will give you an error when booting up. So this has a Windows 10 Professional on it and it is in legacy mode, which is, and you might be wondering, why am I using it in legacy mode? Well, it's because whenever I transfer my data from my old computer, which is over there, we'll get to that in a second. Um, it, the only mode this one support was legacy mode and this one can support UEFI. So that kind of sucks. But again, it is what it is. So, I guess we'll open, show you how to open it up. So you just loosen, but do not remove these two screws right here. And there you go. Cover comes on off just like that. We have the CPU cooler right here, the power supply unit right there, the graphics card X16 PCS. PCIe slot and you just lift it up like that and to remove the hard drive you have um, this has uh, NVMe 256 gigabyte Samsung P M951 SSD in it but we'll show you that in a second but you just take the clips off and then you should remove it just like that and then you and then to remove the hard drive bay and the disk drive you just lift it up you like switch it and then you lift it up and you get the cables out of the way obviously i'm not going to demonstrate that and it also shows you the ram sticks right there i have two 16 gigabyte two eight gigabyte sticks in there 221 33 megahertz but yeah anyway and then the nvme slot is down there so that's how you uh do it so anyway it's very easy to work on with it being a dell it's very easy to work on and Let's see if we can, it's hard to do this with one hand, so I apologize if I can't. I may have to put the phone down, guys, or just pause the video. So, I'm back, and what you might compare this to a couple of generations ago, that was also seen in the back, back in the businesses back in the day, is the Dell Optiplex 760. Obviously, this one's bigger, but they did have a version that was that small. Anyway... I guess we'll hook it up and I guess we'll start it up and show you the specs and demonstrate the speed a little bit. So I have it over here at my desk with these two 17 inch Dell monitors with a Logitech wireless keyboard and this trackball mouse. And I guess we'll be, uh, I guess I'll start by booting this bad boy up. So as aforementioned, we got a Core i5-6500 in the sky. We have, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a Samsung PM951 SSD. With that said, this thing boots stupid fast, even though it's not on legacy mode, even though it's not on UEFI mode, sorry about that. But you didn't, you may or may not heard the startup sound whenever I was talking, but I guess we'll, uh, and see, there you are. So I'll put in my password and then, and then I'll get back to the video. So I guess we'll demonstrate the speed a little bit, starting with booting up, um, starting with booting into Microsoft Edge. I don't use it, but 
I just cannot show Chrome for personal reasons. Because that's my real name on it, and I just can't show that through personal reasons. But, yep. Stupid quick. And then I guess we'll pull up a specy to show you the specs. So it has a Windows 10 Professional 64-bit, Core i5 6500 at 3.2 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, two 8 gigabyte sticks, as a AMD Radeon R7 454 gigabyte card, and it's running pretty hot right now at 117 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has a 258, six, 256 gigabyte, this ain't, it advertises 256 gigabytes, but it's really 238, I'm not sure why. Storage devices are like that, but it's a PM951 NVMe SSD by Samsung, and yeah, and has a Dell AX510 soundbar. Anyway, there's really nothing else to show you on this computer other than the speed, demonstrate the speed. I guess I'll, well, never mind, because uh, I've already shown you the specs with Specky, so there's really no need to show up properties, but anyway. That's my Dell Optiplex 3050 small form factor desktop computer. I just got it for my birthday, and it works really well. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Comment, like, subscribe, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments back below, and stay tuned for more content to come.